what's up everybody this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create a simple login form in android studio now let's start open the android studio and click on file new and new project and give the name of our application And click next, click the phone and tab, click next, click the empty activity and click next and then click finish. It will take some time to build a gradle. Now we have to create a layout that has the username field and password field. So for this, expand the resource areas tab and go to layout and double click on activity underscore main dot XML and click on design. Now drag and drop to plain text over here and from the property window. Set the layout underscore white to match parent and drag in the plain text and do the same process and drag and drop on button. And change the property of the layout on this group works to match parent. Now change the text. And give the hint in the hint section. Enter username here. Enter password here. And button login. And is it the ID of the Username field is txt user and password field is txt password and button is vpn login. Now we just design the login form. Now we have to write the code. In order to write the code, you have to double click on main activity. And inside this class, declare the button and plain text or create a member variable of button or plain text is button login and is it text.
username password now initialize the button in plain text or find the button or plain text by its id over here login is equal to button find the id r dot id dot btn login this is the id we have just given in activity underscore main dot xml file and is the name is equal to edit text find the id r dot id dot txt user this is the id we have provided in equity underscore main dot xml file here and same process for password field as well Now keep the event of the button on click listener event login dot set on click listener new enter. Now we are gonna create one function inside the class but outside this on create function public void login and declare the variable that is store the username and password from the username and password field over here the user enter the username here and password here so that we have we have to we need to store the username and password in the variable the string user is equal to username dot get text dot to string dot trim and String pass is equal to password dot get text dot to string dot trim. Now if user dot equals tick support name and Pass dot equals take support name. We have to display the message username and password match. So in order to display the message, we use the toast toast dot make test this username and password match. Post dot length underscore long dot so else we have to display the message post dot matrix this username and password do not match
टूस डॉट लिंक नो डॉट सो नाउ वी हैव टू कॉल दिस फंक्शन इनसाइड दी इवेंट ऑफ द बटन लॉगिन नाउ रन द एप्लीकेशन यू कैन रन इट एप्लीकेशन आइडर इन योर मोबाइल फोन और द थर्ड पार्टी ADB or the built-in Android Studio virtual devices. I am using Genymotion, so I am going to run my application in Genymotion. If you want to run your application in your mobile phone, you have to install a Google driver. I'll provide the link of the tutorial. That's how you can run your application in your mobile phone. Now run the application. Like the animation, and proceed without instant run. Gradle is building. It takes for a while in order to install the application on Genymotion. Application is installing, launching the activity. Now enter the username and password over here and click login. If this is an admin password match, if you enter the user name and password other than the you specified in your program, it must display the message user name and password do not match. So that's it for this tutorial guys. If you like this video, don't forget to share with your friends and stay connected with our channel. In order to stay connected in our channel, you have to subscribe our channel. So don't forget to subscribe your our channel and thank you once again for watching this tutorial bye bye have a good day